Yo, 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 it's Two Real Sports, where we keep it way too real. Unapologetic, unbiased, and uncensored. And uh, I'm Mitri first, I'm right? Big, I'm, off, I'm big ass with it. And this is where we're going. We're going to do an end of the NBA season wrap up. You know, mm -hmm. we uh, we like to be right, so we're going to do predictions <laughs> and stuff like that. We'll play off predictions, wrap up the season, a couple of awards here, talk about MVP, you know, um, rookie of the year. Yes, yes. I just want to get the uh, sports elephant in the room out the way. Yes, I'm rocking my Barcelona stuff. Like the Golden State Warriors, we lost a 3-1 lead, you know, but I got to ride with my team. You know, I'm a, I'm a Cowboy fan, so I'm used to this, this type of thing. Not with Barcelona. I don't know what's been going on, kind of lately, but I'm going to just, but like, yeah, yeah, this is NBA, though. Cowboy fans sure are used to it. <laughs> nah, <laughs> come on, man, you know, everything, nah, I ain't going to just, NBA, man, you know, I see Odell showed up. <laughs> he trying to get his money. Hey Smart. man. Hey, come on down. What what, welcome, money? welcome home, El Dale. You yeah. know, All welcome right. back, baby. With the number two pick, be ready for anybody but Barkley. <laughs> be in the, be ready for anybody but Barkley. Hey, come on, go with them. <laughs> Still got faith for this though. But we gonna get us the NBA end of the season. Um, rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. Little rookie of the year. That's the yeah. That's the big hot hot thing right now. Donovan Mitchell showing up the games with the rookie definition of yeah. a rookie tat on, on, on his chest and his hoodie. I like that too. Ben Simmons talking about the only he, the only rookie who, who caught his eyes is none. I like that too. Yeah, I love all that. I love yeah. the little water worlds, but as I predicted early in the year, I said Ben Simmons would get <laughs> every, um, rookie of the year, but I can't front, man. I've been like, thinking about it. Donovan Mitchell's in the wild, wild west. Mm -hmm. and he got their team in the third seed. Rudy Gobert was out for the majority of the season. He's led them. He has led them. I think they lost five games since January. They're like mm -hmm. 29 and five since January. And he's led that team like all the way to, to the third seed in, in, in the West. And um, do they have any um, playoff implications tonight? Or they, or they, or they good? Uh, they're not locked. It's either three or four. But well, they're going to win. They're they on the road. I don't, I don't see them stopping. Yeah, 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 they're they, they, they on the road. I think they're going to win, and they're going to get um, home court advantage in the first round. So it take take all that in consideration. Nobody had, nobody had Utah Jazz making the playoffs. Nobody, myself included. Nobody thought this, especially with Gobert. And then they traded Rodney Hood in the early in the season. I mean, not in the early in the season, in the mid-season. Mm -hmm. And who they stuck with? Derek Favors. It's like, so... And that Renal Gobert is back. I'm not sure what they're gonna do in the playoffs, but Donovan Mitchell is bowling. I'm, I think they felt they could they could win it first. I don't if not not unless they see um, OKC in the first round. But I could see them getting out the first round. I could definitely see them getting out the first round. And I won't say just give it to him because after the year Ben Simmons is having and what he's doing towards the end, like what he's doing, mm -hmm. I, I would I would like to see a co MVP. I don't think it should nah. just be Ben Simmons. Nah, no Coles. Yeah. Nah, I gotta give it to Cole. No Coles. Same thing with Melo and LeBron. I thought it should be a Cole MVP, but, yeah, no but nah, Cole MVP, man. I can't decide right now. What, what Donovan Mitchell's doing in the West with his team is is better with Ben doing. Is yeah. better with what Ben Simmons is doing. And everybody want to talk about team team comes into play and then, and records and all that. Mm. He's doing a, he, he's doing a better job team wise. Well, I. I I, so I've been hesitating in it, pause for a, a while as far as who I'm gonna pick. Uh, now Ben Simmons, he's just been playing some great. Just he's been averaging a triple double within the last 20 games. Um, I've gotten somehow to watch him like five times. Just really watch from first quarter to fourth quarter him play like five times within the last couple weeks. And every time he looks like the best player on the court. Mm -hmm. Even when they played the Cavaliers, he looked like the best player on the court. I'm not saying he's the best player, but I'm just saying he looked like, for those games, the best player on the court. But I will say, today, in my final, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to go Donovan Mitchell. For the fact of, like you said, Wild Wild West. Um, they lost three starters last year, you know, with uh, as far as uh, Gordon Haywood, George Hill, sure. mm -hmm. and Joe Johnson. I'm going to put him there as a starter. And so when you lose, you know, three big, you don't think that you're going to improve. And so they improve with a rookie in the wild, wild west. 
I think with Ben Simmons, he's playing at such a high level right now that it's like college seedings that whoever plays the best at the end, we forget like there was a whole nother season. So Ben Simmons, he started to heat up towards the after like the second, the like the little middle, right before the middle of the season. That's when he heated. This kid Donovan Mitchell's been playing basketball at a high level since pretty much the beginning of the year. So that's why I got to give it to him for as far as I think he's had a more consistent year. I think Ben is mm-hmm. playing at a higher level right now. I think he's playing at one of the highest yeah. levels in the NBA right see, now. I, see, I, I'm not because you That's what I'm about mm-hmm. to say. I'm struggling. I'm, I'm a tug of war myself because I'm saying you got to take everything into consideration what he's doing in the West mm-hmm. with his team and how nobody mm-hmm. expects him to be good. But here, Ben Simmons is looking like a top 10 player. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I would like, uh, tch, yeah. man. I, so I... I for the year, I got to give it to Donovan. I might be being a little biased as far as the whole, you know, red shirt year and everything like that. But I think Donovan, from start to finish, has played a more consistent year than Ben Simmons. And I think he deserves that that rookie of the year. Yeah, he's definitely done more with less. But I ain't arguing if Ben Simmons get it. Yeah, me neither, because I did say he was. Oh, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and I just want to say, this rookie class is probably, when we look at it five, ten years from now, it's Word. going to be one of the best rookie mm-hmm. classes. Of, Jason Tatum, any other year, would have won rookie of the year. Word, man. He's playing at an extremely Word. high level That's right now. Word. Extremely high level. Uh, you know how I feel about Zoe. You know, Zoe got <laughs> hurt very early. I think that's Zoe's biggest thing he has to work on in the offseason. Mm-hmm. It's just physical. He just physically has to get more NBA. Definitely. I think that's what probably hurt his jump shot and things like that. Free throws. All that comes with not being in a certain shape. Um, but they're just so, so De'Aaron many players. De'Aaron Fox, too. De'Aaron Fox. Um, um, is he the, the center from um, the Nuggets? Is, 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 is he the rookie? Who? Jovic? Yeah. No, nah, he's like the third. Oh, my bad. I'm bugging. My bad. What, what, so, the, um, my um, the white boy from the Bulls who was busting the Knicks' ass all year. Baby Dirk. The, um, what's his name? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know what I'm um, talking about. Uh, Matt McCone. Yeah. McCone, yeah. Yeah, that's my man. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he's, he's good too. That's my, so there's, there's, they got some real. This, this year is gonna be just overall. I think one of the greatest rookie years yeah. of all time. This class, uh, MVP. 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 Now, uh, who you got? Who you got? I got on my soliloquy. I got Russell Westbrook. Mm. I got Russell Westbrook as the MVP. I don't. He, as he is, he gonna win it. He's my. He's the MVP to me. But is he gonna win it? No. I think it's gonna go to James Harden. Mm. But like, it's, 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 I just want to point out something real quick. Like every year we talk about these NBA awards, it's like especially the individual awards, and the team comes into play. Now, now, now the Cavs is having the like not too good year in the East, and like nobody wants to talk about the team. And now I'm seeing all these memes about these the split screen about. LeBron got more points than James Harden. He he he's shooting a better free throw. I mean free throw percentage. Is he shooting? Hell no, he's not shooting better free throw percentage. No, no, no. But three point, uh-huh. um, regular field goals, more rebounds, more assists. But like, but it's how it's funny how no team wants. Now the team play doesn't matter. How how um the Houston Rockets, the number one team in the NBA with 60 plus wins, and number one in the West, and they about to close out the season and that's the number one seed. But nobody wants to talk about that. Everybody wants to like. But I understand that though, because LeBron, the second half, at least after the trade, he he's been he's been he been going he's been going on. I can keep it a buck. He's been out of this world. Like, but I, and then another thing, like LeBron, this is not his best be, be we've seen LeBron. You, you still spoke about it a little earlier. I think the best we've seen LeBron is Miami LeBron. But as far as MVP is concerned, he he's having this crazy year too. But as far as all year combined. At one point, LeBron led the league, and for an 18-game stretch, LeBron led the league in minus and plus-minus. He was dead last mm-hmm. for an 18-game stretch. James Harden been bowling throughout the whole entire year, so from start to finish, the whole entire year, number one seed in the whole entire NBA. I, I think it was James Harden. But LeBron is making a case, so I can't front. He's 100% making a case, but I take the totality of the whole year, I think it goes to James Harden. Well, you know, Should that's why. That's why you, my brother, I'm going to just get straight to it. I got Russell Westbrook. Plain, simple. Uh, to me, if you just go by my definition of what I interpret, I just somehow think MVP got switched somewhere down the line. But most valuable player. Most valuable player. So if you take, and with that, 
that is actually makes a strong case for LeBron also. I will say that. Mm -hmm. That makes a very strong case for LeBron. But most valuable player as far as if you take that player off the team, how will, who would have the worst record? That's what I consider the most valuable player. So for me, this is why I remix some of what I was going to say because we got to say I didn't think he was going to have Russell Westbrook. Uh, I don't know why I should have. You're my brother. We brothers, so I should have. But um, James Harden is definitely not the MVP. I don't know what media is trying to give him this feel sorry for him MVP because he kept being very close but no cigar, so they just want to give it to him. But James Harden is definitely not the MVP, and I'll prove it this way. Chris Paul, first of all, James Harden's been injured on that team, and they've won games. So they prove if he doesn't play, they can win games. Second of all, Chris Paul has a higher plus minus than James Harden on that own team. So that also shows not, you know, of course, James Harden is not replaceable, but we could stay afloat, you know. And then uh, as far as with um, point differential with declining when the play is out, Chris Paul is 7.9 when he's out the game in 100 possessions. When James Harden is out the game, it's 3.5 points in 100 possessions. So that just shows, again, Chris Paul really in a way is the MVP of the Rockets. Nah, like you know, but you know how the Dan Tony system does for the point goals. You, mm -hmm. you know how that how that goes. Steve Nash got two MVPs and he should no way in hell got any of them playing in that same Dan Tony system. Chris Paul the point guard playing the system that I'm pretty sure the numbers favor him, but we all know well, the numbers favor James Harden as far as the, the big numbers. Yeah, the sexy the, the, numbers. Yeah, the boom numbers. The sexy yeah, numbers, yeah. points, things like that. But when you go into the you know, the analytic numbers. Yeah, the one and, of course, uh -huh. I'll take James Harden over Chris Paul. That's not the case I'm making. But I'm just saying you also have another player on your team that's playing at an MVP level. You, you, he just played mm -hmm. less games, mm -hmm. you know. And to an extent for your team, he is the MVP. You are the better player, and you get the glory and the points and you average. But, but he, for your team pushes y'all over the top more than you do. Um, other thing is that I don't get why they just trying to give it to James Harden is if you look at the stats and obviously Chris Paul is there but points is the only thing that's increased by one point. So it's not, it, it's, so it's just really like a gimme. Now I actually disagree with you as far as with the LeBron stuff. When I saw the LeBron stuff compared to James Harden to me that put LeBron James over James Harden to me. I mean, to have, you know, every major statistic from points, even to have three-point field goal percentage higher than James Harden, that's a big deal. Nah, I bet, like, I guarantee you, Le how many three-points Le on LeBron took? James Harden took I, I guarantee you, Le 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 James Harden took hundreds more than LeBron. But I can't. I just can't give an MVP to somebody who dead quit. He dead quit to get the trade. To get the trade. Like he oh, quit, the, he stopped playing. Season, I, yeah, he, that, that, that's when he, that's when he led the league <laughs> in, in, in the plus minus. He, he was dead last. It's eighty two games. Now nah, you can't, you can't, now nah, you can't do that. You can't just dead quit because you mad about the team, about the team that you chose. You didn't quit. It was a, it's nah, a marathon. He, nah, 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 nah. He, yeah, he, no, 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 no. He did not play LeBron. Come on, this is LeBron James. We all know the capabilities he's playing. We all, we understand. You know, you can't like. Everybody's not Westbrook. We, we ain't going to have you play like that every game, but you, we all know LeBron James. He was not playing LeBron James basketball at all. He was, like, chilling. He was, like, he didn't care. He was making a statement. He dead quit, and then he got what he I wanted, want and boom, here comes here comes the MVP. Here comes here, and here, he got the trade, and now we're talking about him being an MVP now. I wouldn't put because he was nowhere on. near the conversation before, yo. I wouldn't put no. I wouldn't put quit. that. That's a that's a that's a tough label. Quit. I wouldn't put quit on him. I just think it's a long uh, season. Yeah, yeah, right, you're right. The he, chemistry wasn't working, and they got the and of course they got rejuvenated. You bring new players there, you bring new energy. They got something to prove. Jordan Clarkson, Rodney Hood, so they playing. Extra hard as well. That rejuvenates you as well. So, you know, I, I would, think they rejuvenated the team, definitely, and it brought an extra juice. But, uh... I was just about to change my mind. Nah, fuck that. He quit. <laughs> <laughs> he quit. He, he stopped playing. He stopped playing. I ain't changing nothing. He quit. <laughs> Hell of the second half, though. He, that's what we're talking about now. But yeah. And I also disagree. I think he's playing at his highest level. But we're going to get to the playoffs real quick, and we'll... I know we'll we'll get we'll get more because that's something we could talk about for some for some time. Yeah, definitely. You know yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, playoffs. Any what you what? 
predictions. You know, I like to throw my Mitri Domus hat in there. You know, any. I like. I don't think how it's gonna be set up. I don't think the Cavs and the um seventy six is gonna see each other in the second round. Mm -hmm. They will have to see each other in the conference finals. Mm -hmm. That means the Cavs. I mean, that means the Toronto Raptors is gonna play the um. 76ers, and I don't think the 76ers would beat them neither. I don't know where you get this Toronto Raptors hope. They suck. Nah, I don't. I don't hope not. Nah. Yes. I, I think they have a good team. They just they best they play see is LeBron. Drake. Is who Drake? When Drake's at the game, they win. <laughs> he the best nah, player. They're a good team. Like they 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 got experience in the playoffs. I'm just like talking about the chemistry, and they they got experience in the playoffs. I'm sorry, I, I, playoffs is different. It's just different ball game. It's different. Different beasts. And with and with the rap, they show you every playoffs. They scared of LeBron James. They they they, they look at LeBron James and see I ain't and see two dollars on the rap this. Nah, that but that's only with LeBron. They they come they they play good. They play high. They play decent play of basketball. They 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 are they a nice veteran team mixed with the nice little young talent they got. This is the best team as as as, as they that they, they ever have since like they went to since Vince Carter lost to um from the buzzer beater with um AI. This is a good Toronto Raptors team, but unfortunately, for some strange reason, they see LeBron James and see the Candyman and just, just, just freeze up and they just shy and scared of the moment. They just quit and just already give up. But they'll they'll see him in the Conference Final. But I think they'll be able to beat Philly. I don't think they I don't think they scared of Philly like that, and, and they'll show up. So as long as they got DeRozan and Kyle Lowry, that's the same Toronto Raptors to me. I wouldn't bet. Any, I, this is my this is what I'm gonna say about just the playoffs in general, including the Toronto Raptors. Out of, let's say out of the, the top four seeds, one through four, in the first round on both sides, two of the home teams will lose. You think in, in the East or both, 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 both conferences? Both conferences. And the Raptors, I think the, depending on who, they're going to be one of them teams. No, nah, they're, not, they're not losing. Golden State, depending on who. They gonna be one of them teams. Nah, cause OKC's not gonna be in the HC, so that that'll be the only way that they lose hey, in the first round. Golden first State, round. Golden State, out of the last eighteen games without Steph Curry, like has a losing woo. record. Eight, woo. You know, it's it's seven and ten over there, so it's a lot. It's a lot of I think two out of the top four, whoever one, two, three, four, two of those is out of here in the first round, both conferences. And I hope that show y'all that all that KD now took the crown. They the best in the league now. Cut cut that shit out. LeBron still hands down got it. He's still the man of that league. All this KD no. Look, look, look what's been going on with the, with the Golden State Warriors since that been out. Come on, I told y'all he was the stir that he he just stir that stir that drink, man. Yeah. The, the, oh, um, he, well, he just you know he heartless. That's why it has nothing to do with Russ. <laughs> it's just he's heartless and he went to the it's... easiest route and. He thought Steph Curry was there, and now he's not. And, yeah, now you know, he got to step up, and now he's not stepping up. You out here looking, looking a little, <laughs> looking a little gun shot, man. Now I can't wait. I, I know when everybody sees this, it'll be over. But uh, Nuggets, Minnesota tonight for that last spot. So I can't wait for that. But um, they ain't Minnesota, right? Yeah. I'm still going with the Nuggets. Nuggets been playing some good basketball lately. Yeah, like, they close out to you. Definitely have. taking the Nuggets in that one. Jimmy Butler, I'm not sure if he's messing up the chemistry or what. He just got back, but I don't think he's gonna come back and have an impact. As a matter of fact, it's I don't hurt. think he'd play. I don't think he'd play if if, if it wasn't for uh, players falling in line. It's just the, the sports gods. He's cursed. It's over. Minnesota's not gonna win because of sports gods. Shout out my man Lou Will. Um, <laughs> who you so who you, the prediction? You who OKC. You come, going to the finals? Yeah. OKC. And let's go 76ers. Philly got something going on. <laughs> I'm scared. Like, I want to pick OKC, but nah, I can't trust them, man. I've been saying, wait till this happens. Like, they keep, I kept on pushing their date back to keep on getting better. And it's still kind of eh, it's still kind of shaky. I, I don't see him going to the, to the finals. So what you got? What's your... If Steph What's come you? back, I was all depending all depending on Steph Curry coming back. I definitely got the Warriors going, going against the Cavs again. Steph will be back. He fine. I... I mean, I ain't no doctor, but I seen him warming up before the game the other day. He could play if they needed him to. All right, now he's going back to the finals. It'll be Golden State versus Cavs again. The Cavs are not losing to the Raptors. The Raptors are going to lose to Philly in the second round of the playoffs. Miami, who, who, that'd be, who's Miami? Does Miami see um, the Cavs in the first round? Um, that'd be nice, though. <laughs> that'd, no, that'd be cool. Miami on 476 is it's looking like. Oh. So, yeah. See, like, see, that's the only thing that scares me. The playoffs... Philly has no experience in the playoffs, man. That's that's the only thing. So I'm, not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Ben got, Simmons gonna, is Ben Simmons gonna play top ten basketball in the playoffs? I who you got? Who you got? Seventy six is in the heat. No, I'm saying who you got? Finals. Oh, the Cavs and the Warriors. And who you got as your winner? 
the Warriors. Definitely going to the Warriors, man. Well, we got to go hurry up and see Minnesota and the Nuggets because that's about to be crazy. OKC again, I said. In 76, is Philly got something going on. Of course, we're going to have some updates yeah. during the playoffs and things like that. I we like just want them. to sneak young, that in there real quick. Young boys ain't ready, though, man. I like them. They not ready, man. My brother again. You already. Hey, man, you, you, we really brothers, man. Russell Westbrook MVP, man. I don't even know why I doubted that. <laughs> we really brothers. Like the great Jimmy V say, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Love, we got to see this game, yeah? <laughs>